This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. Well, you've seen my previous videos on uh, the Paradise honey boxes and the, honey, and the beehives. The one with the window in the hive mat and how we went from last season from a single box up to uh, extracting honey. So this time my supplier Chris Patterson at Paradise Honey New Zealand as written across on the YouTube uh, has sent me down some new items. These are three quarter boxes and I've just got another three new ones here. So I'm just going to show you today on how I assemble the boxes. So we'll put that one aside and we need two or three items. I like my old wooden carpentry mallet. It's got a nice big block on it so it doesn't damage stuff. A block of wood and it can be anything, any block of wood so long as it's flat and that's about the same size as across there. We need a bit of PVA glue and I'm very uh, much a user of tight bond and this is uh, the premium grade there's several brands of tight bond or several grades of it um, they all work pretty much the same and tight bond is the really the only PVA glue that is waterproof so we have here Two, bo two more boxes to be assembled. We've got two side bars, two end bars, and then we've got these yellow pieces of plastic which go and give us these hard faces so when you put the hive tool in you don't do any damage. These are moulded so they can only go on one way. And it's just simply a matter of pushing them on. And they need to be flush. That's that one done. And then you've got to find the appropriate other piece. They only fit on one way, these fellas. So, as you can see, we have four of them to do. And so, we're on to the the last one. That's the hardest part of the job, putting those on. Now we need to now we need to put the sides and the ends together and we have to make sure that they go up the right way so the hand grip is at the top on both pieces. So all I do is I put a little bit of glue don't get carried away of how much I put on on there like that Make sure I'm around the right way. And so the hand grips are at the right places. Oops. 
That way. That's all sweet. A little bit of glue on both of these. And just make sure when you're putting this one on that it's up the right way as well. I find it easier if I put them pushing, pushing down into the pieces. I give them a good press down and the last little bit is I have a seat and a little bit of my 70 kilos pushes them down into place and now that box is perfectly square, perfectly flat get a little bit of glue on the inside and I've got a wet rag and I just wipe that little bit of glue off so we'll do the last one now Uh, put a bit of glue on both of them at the same time. Remember to put the handles to the outside. Squeeze them down, just a gentle press, and that's all done. Just one little extra, if by chance you have assembled them wrong, and it is possible to get the handles upside down put them on the ground like that stand on them and then just wobble them and that will pop open before the glue dries once the glue is dry you will not be able to get them apart All right. so it is possible to pull them apart And now we have three boxes all made up ready for the next stage which is painting. That'll be the next video. Just want to add a little comment. Something I get asked 
about all the time is that how these compare with wooden boxes. Well, these boxes here, depending on how many you're buying, cost around about $20, $22 each. All machined and finished and they come as a flat pack. If you're buying premium grade wooden boxes, you're probably going to be paying somewhere around about $17, around about. So there's a difference of about three to five dollars depending on quantities that you're buying, uh, give or take a little bit. But the big thing is, the only thing you need is a little bit of glue, a block of wood, a bit of dirty old wet rag so you can clean the glue off, the excess glue, and anyone can make these boxes and make them flat and square and you got a box that's going to last you pretty well forever polystyrene doesn't break down although the bees will chew on it a bit okay so that's it from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube assembling paradise boxes honey boxes so next one, next video is going to be painting the boxes, so we'll catch around in the beehive, or for the next one, in the paint shop.